Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to French President Emmanuel Macron on his re-election. In the cable, His Majesty the King extended deepest congratulations to President Macron, wishing him success in his duties to achieve further development, progress and prosperity for the friendly French people. His Majesty the King stressed Bahrain's keenness on developing bilateral relations binding the Kingdom and the French Republic at all levels to achieve common interests and benefit both friendly peoples. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the President of France Emmanuel Macron on his re-election. In the cable, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister extended his deepest congratulations to President Macron, wishing him success in his duties to further France's progress and development. His Royal Highness trusts the Kingdom's commitment to further developing bilateral relations to achieve the common interests of both countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gudaybiyah Palace. The cabinet extended its congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and the citizens and residents of Bahrain on the occasion of the upcoming Eid al Fitr holiday. His Royal Highness directed the Civil Service Bureau to transfer annual leave surplus to frontline health professionals and other support staff. The Bureau was also directed to transfer excess annual leave for employees whose annual leave balance exceeded 75 days on, November, on December 31, 2021. To mark the impending Bahraini Press Day and World Press Freedom Day, the Cabinet wished media professionals and journalists success and highlighted the active role of media in supporting the Kingdom's national development. For Labour Day, the Cabinet emphasized the dedication and contribution of the Kingdom's workforce to Bahrain's successful achievements, which has increased their attractiveness to employers. The cabinet then discussed and approved the following memorandums. A memorandum by the Civil Service Bureau regarding restructuring and developing the work of several government agencies in order to increase efficiency and improve their performance. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding the Kingdom's contribution to several international organizations to enhance expertise in humanitarian training, professional and labor fields. A memorandum by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism on the inclusion of Egypt to the 14 countries listed as partners of the Air Sea Freight Service in Bahrain. Companies based in these countries are allowed to apply for accreditation as operators of these services. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the government's response to four proposals and a law proposal submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet also reviewed the following topics. A memorandum by the Government Executive Committee on the updated Government Priority Framework 3.1 and what has been imp implemented to achieve financial stability and support the Kingdom's investment environment. The Cabinet took note of a report submitted by the Minister of Finance and National Economy regarding his participation in the spring meeting of the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued a circular on the upcoming Labour Day and Eid al Fitr holidays. According to the circular, the Kingdom's ministries and public institutions will be closed on Sunday, May 1, 2022, marking Labour Day. 
The circular also stipulates that the kingdom's ministries and public institutions will close on the day of Eid al-Fitr and the two days that follow. The circular added that if any of the three days of Eid coincides with an official holiday, an extra day will be given in lieu. Under the patronage of the Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health, SCH, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Research and Ethics Committees, in cooperation with the Public Relations Department, organized an honoring uh, ceremony for the first research symposium for government hospitals employees. The SCA chairman stressed the importance of moving forward in the field of strengthening medical research to keep pace with the great development witnessed by the kingdom in terms of medical services. He expressed pleasure at the distinguished and scientific level of Bahraini medical research in various fields. For his part, a chairman of the Board of Trustees of Government Hospitals, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdul Aziz Al Khalifa, expressed pride in the medical staff of government hospitals and their contribution to raising the name of Bahrain through their pursuit of scientific research. The CEO of Government Hospitals, Dr. Ahmed Al Ansari, praised the efforts made in the field of scientific research, stressing that the executive management, under the directives of the Board of Trustees of Government Hospitals, will continue its support for medical cadres and all cadres working in the health sector to enable them to provide the highest level of health practices and enhance its pivotal role in the health system in the kingdom. The Chairman of the Supreme Council of Health, SCH, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, presented the Prince Salman bin Hamad Medal for Medical Merit to the Council's employees in implementation of the Royal Order and within the framework of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to all concerned parties to present the medal to frontline workers of health cadres, the BDF, the Ministry of Interior, and all supporting bodies. Dr. Sheikh Mohammed affirmed His Majesty the King's pride and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's appreciation for the sincere national efforts of all frontliners to combat the pandemic. He praised the national efforts of Team Bahrain, which provided its ability to develop strategies to deal with the various circumstances, praising the societal awareness among the people of Bahrain, which aided in supporting the efforts to overcome various circumstances. For their part, the members of the council expressed their pride in receiving the medal, stressing that it is an incentive to continue working to serve the kingdom. Under the patronage of the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Supreme Council for Environment organized a ceremony to present the Prince Salman bin Hamad Medal for Medical Merit to the Council's affiliates in implementation of the Royal Order and within the framework of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to all concerned parties to present the medal to frontline workers of health cadres, the BDF, the Ministry of interior and all supporting bodies. The Special Envoy for Climate Affairs and Chief Executive of the Supreme Council for Environment, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak bin Dana, affirmed His Majesty the King's pride and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's appreciation for the sincere national efforts of all frontliners to combat the pandemic. He stressed that maintaining what has been achieved requires exerting more efforts to reach the desired successes, praising the national efforts of Team Bahrain. For their part, the members of the council expressed pride in receiving the medal, stressing that it is an incentive to continue working to serve the kingdom. The Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments announced that five places of worship, worship under the Sunni and Jafari Endowment Directorates have been fully revamped in implementation of the directive of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to open and restore 20 mosques across the kingdom. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, also issued directives to fast-track the designing and construction of 12 mosques in Salman town. 
The five revamped places of worship are uh, venues are Ahmed bin Hassan in Salmaniya, Abdul Rahman bin Abdul Wahab bin Jafir, Mijbil in Manama, Al Eid in Naim, and the Sheikh Yaqub in Naim. The Information and E-Government Authority, IGA, issued its foreign trade report on the first quarter of 2022, encompassing data on the balance of trade, imports, export, national uh, origin, and the re-export. The value of imports increased by 4% compared to the previous year, adding that the top 10 countries accounted for 69% of the value of imports. The value of export of national origin increased by 83% to uh, 1.255 billion Bahraini dinars during the first quarter of 2022. The total value of re-exports decreased by 14% compared to the previous year. The trade balance, which represents the difference between experts and imports, amounted to 51 million dinars, recording a surplus in the value of the trade balance in the first quarter of 2022.